Hey guys, Wheels247 here. What's up and welcome back. We are back on Cattle and Crops doing the missions on the new map, um, Albertal, I believe is how you say it. And we're approaching the farm here because we've got to grab a cultivator and we've got to see how that works. So we're coming up on the main farm. We'll back in, hook up the cultivator, and head over to the field that they want us to do. Uh, thank you for watching the first video on this. If you did, if you missed that, we started up a new uh, game save and a profile so that we could do the missions and kind of give us an introduction to the game. Though I have played this somewhat before, I uh, kind of let it go for a long time until they got their updates completed and it went live on Steam and now I'm coming back to take a look at it again. So a lot of stuff on the screen so I apologize for that it's got our missions and stuff like that on there and um, there's a cat so um, we will pull up here because we've got to um, back in now and attach the cultivator which is in that shed right behind us there behind that door I believe so as we approach it it will open automatically we are in the class area on 530. Let's see if we can back in here without too much trouble. And connect on up to the cultivator. Cultivator and the plow are really the only two implements I've ever used in this game prior to doing these missions because that's what was only that's the only thing available when it first came out. They definitely have been working on the game. That is for sure. So let's go ahead and connect on up to that by hitting our Q, and now we're ready to go. So we are going to pull on out of here and drive over to the next field that they have, and uh, I guess I'll just stay with it to drive over there so you can take a look and see what the um, countryside looks like. So this is their full map. I'll have to figure out how to pronounce it, so... Hold on one second. I do want to remove some of this so you guys have a little bit better view. What's going on? And uh, let's get on outside for a change in views. I do like driving in cab in this, though. And, uh, again, the vehicles are just very well done. So, All right, so we're going to travel on over here. Everything looks really empty, though, you know. So far, the weather has been all the same in the playthrough that I've done. And we are at the field, so we're going to pull over right here. And uh, let's go ahead and back up here and get straightened out. And uh, then we're going to lower the cultivator down. Now, it doesn't like it when you lower it down outside the field. It keeps on saying, you cannot plow this. Um... So I guess it likes it when you get right up to the field. You can see the cultivator has pretty good animations to it. So we'll go ahead and do this first row. We'll just do a couple of rows here, and then we will skip the rest of it. Obviously, you can do the whole amount if you want. Let's just give you an idea of what's going on in the missions. Because I, f I feel like it's important to go through these again. Uh, before I go into any kind of a free roaming let's play just to make sure I know how to use all the equipment <laughs> and uh, get used to it in the game so that's what we're doing alright so we're coming up on the end of the row here as we come up to the end we'll hit V to um, lift the cultivator up and go ahead and make our turn For some reason it did not give me the uh, first track why why you not do that okay well let's let's do the second row I don't think I was right on that I thought I was right on the trigger anyway it is a mission so it's okay see you can't work this field pops up when you're just outside of it so it wants you to be right in the field before you go to work So 
So I have read some comments on Steam. A lot of people really aren't happy, I mean, with it. But you know what? I'll let them be the judge of what they want to do. And But I want to give it a fair shake before I do that. So we'll go through all the missions, um, try to start a free roaming Let's Play type deal, and then um, we'll go from there. Okay, so apparently I did not hit the trigger the first time. That's okay. We will we will do that because you've got to do this part in order for it to advance. Uh, I hate to do it again, folks, but um, that's the way it wants us to do it. So I can't advance that thing to the next thing without doing this. So let's go ahead and make a couple of passes, and I'll be right back once I'm able to continue on. Okay, and I have managed to get the game to recognize our progress after doing those two passes. You just got to hit those triggers right on um, in order to get it to go through the tutorial. So, all right, so we will go ahead and head through here. Like I said, I still don't know how to raise the speed on the uh, cruise control. But you hit T to activate it. I know that. Okay, once we get into the end of this field here, then we'll do another pass, and eventually it should give us the ability to um, to skip. All right. So let's go ahead and make that turn around. I do want to check out something inside the cab in one second here. Okay, let's put that down. Now, as far as adjusting your mirror goes, um, you can, you have these sliders here. Whoa. And um, we wanna adjust this to where I feel like I can see right, uh, right on the seat. Like right there, right off the seat probably go a little bit higher than that right but that's what I like about this is that you can do stuff like that and I think that's pretty cool all right so JJ I'm sure is gonna love seeing adjustable mirrors like that you can either do it that way or you can use the hot key over on the right hand side there as well those little icons that pop up and I know you can actually put those into the slots down below I haven't done all that probably should but Basically, you can put a hot key for certain things on the bottom and eliminate that stuff on the side of your game screen. So, all right, so we'll come to the end of this row. And we'll go ahead and lift that. Obviously, I probably should do a headland around it when I'm done, so I probably shouldn't worry about the edges. And really, right now in the mission, anyways, it doesn't matter. We're not going to complete the whole thing. All right. So we can jump back in, I guess. It'll be fine. It's a little bit dark in the shadows, so I guess I'll turn on the light so you can kind of see what's going on you can adjust the brightness which probably should be done maybe it does want us to go totally to a 50% So come to the edge of the field, and if you want to be ultra-realistic and um, do this in cab, um, I think you have the ability to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and back on up here.
Okay, and we can't really see the side mirrors with the uh, mission stuff there. Okay, so coming up to the edge of the field then. Lower the cultivator down and next row. At the time where I'm making this video for Farm Sim, I actually downloaded Stevie's um, updated Sherwood Park map, and so I may be playing that over there, but anyway, we'll stick with the cattle and crop subject for now. Alright, so now we do have the ability to skip, so let's come to the end of this row, and we will wrap this little project up, and move on to the next thing. I assume that it's going to be um, some type of plowing, I would guess. Alright, so let's lower that up, and we will go ahead and skip past this. And then it wants us to simply drive back to the main farm. So that's what we'll do. The sun is going down. I would like to get one more mission in in this video before we wrap it up. go to your house okay so let's do that real quick all right shut that off and O on the keyboard is your hotkey and we'll hop out and I guess our house is right over here it's very limited what you can actually do in the house right now I assume that more is coming Um, I, that's what I assume anyway. All right, so now you can sleep 10 hours, it says. You go right into the bedroom here, um, just as you walk in. Sleep 10 hours. It looks like he's stretching there. I still don't get that stretching stuff. Mission complete. So preparation is everything. All right, nice. Okay, so new mission available. Cultivating gentleman, plowing with the MB track. All right, let's go ahead and accept that. And so we'll get a little plowing done in this particular episode. And then we'll continue the missions in episode three. So, all right. So we're now ready for the plow. Let's head back outside. Everything's real sensitive here. All right. So um, we're supposed to use this vehicle right now, the MB track. So we'll jump into this one instead and go ahead and hit. O to uh, fire up. Oh, and you know what? The plow's in here, so I probably need to uh, move this bad boy out of the way first. And uh, tell you what, let's just go ahead and put this away. Kind of wonder if at the end of these missions, if you actually can continue just a regular playthrough after the missions are done. I don't remember how many there are either, so I think there's several. All right, so let's pull this in out of the way. All right, and okay, shut her down. Grab the other one. I guess we'll come through the right, the same spot. And uh, I think that other implement's disconnected from it, isn't it? Yes. All right, so let's pull on up here, and we'll back on in. Tell you what, we'll see if we can do a little in cab um, lining up here. I love how the uh, tractors drive. They are different than uh, what I'm used to, but I love how they change gears and they actually continue to move unless you hit the handbrake, which I just did. Okay. 
back on up. Oops, whoa, 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 whoa. So a bit jerky with the equipment because I haven't got muscle memory on how all the keys go yet. Okay, so go ahead and connect the plow and go on down to the field. All right. So head on over there. It looks like it's foggy out. I'm kind of curious to see what the dynamic weather type stuff does. I'm not sure really how far this is. We have a big map there by pressing M. Seems like a pretty impressive um, size map, although we haven't been through the whole thing yet. I certainly like this better than the tech demo. I feel like if they had started out with this, you know, at the very beginning, that people might have been happier with it. You know, but I guess that's the thing with early access, right? I mean, if you like early access, that's fine, but when these these companies, it seems like the early access stuff is becoming a big thing so they can raise money, and I don't blame them for trying to raise money. But sometimes, you know, it's possible to release something too soon. And uh, I think companies need to be very careful what they promise and how long it takes to deliver. Okay, so we're going to unplo unfold the plow. And uh, we need to rotate it with the R. I think it's got, oops, sorry, getting in that tree. It's got really good um, animations on the plow. I really like the plow, although I don't generally prefer these types of plows, but for small equipment, it's fine. All right, so we will lower it when we get to the uh, edge of the field here. Let's pull on up there. All right, and V to lower down. All right. Oops. Let me let me just go ahead and back up so we get that. I think that's what I missed in the cultivation there, is I didn't actually drive the tractor on it itself. Okay. So let's follow the lines that they give us. Let's go ahead and hit T for our cruise control. And um, there we go. I mean, I think they're doing a decent job with the with the dirt. I think that the um, deal with dynamic dirt was probably a more of an aggressive project than maybe what um, <laughs> might have thought of at first. But hey, if they can pull it off eventually, I'm willing to wait. So, although you know, I feel like companies should give realistic expectations about when games should come out. I think we, as the gaming community, probably need to have a little bit more patience than what we do as well to wait for development especially if we know if it's early access so the thing with me for a long time is I couldn't even play it and that that's what really um, I didn't like is because I couldn't actually play it okay so we'll raise it up obviously they do explain to you that you need to rotate the plow which is good as well Okay, let's go ahead and get our tractor tire in our um, the edge there of our last furrow. Okay, lower down the plow. And go for row number two. Again, we will hit the um, cruise control. So it's going very slow, but I feel like it's probably a realistic speed.
It looks like they want us to go to 30% on this. We are at 20 minutes into the video. So anyway, here is your plowing. So this episode has been all about cultivating and plowing here in cattle and crops. See what's, um, what's new. This all looks very, very similar to the way it was when it first started. So and I see very little difference here, but it's all part of the mission system. So uh, tutorial, if you would. So. All right, coming up on the edge here, and so we'll lift the plow. We will rotate and go ahead and switch directions. And I'm gonna work on this for one second, and then I'll be right back once we're all finished up here. Let's line up. All right, and we're almost done with this, and I did figure out how to change the cruise control. So if we go outside cab here, ooh, I'm way off too, man. Apparently wheels needs GPS. All right, let's back up here and fix that. All right, so if you want your cruise control to change speeds, basically you hit your T key once to set it at the lowest level in second gear, and then a second time to go to fourth gear, and then a last time to go to I guess it's still in fourth gear but you go way up to your um, about 45 on the dial there so you just hit the T key in order to do it alright so it does give us the option now to skip so again, I'm kind of running through this a little bit basic, but just give you an idea of what's going on. So we're going to hit skip right there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and fold up our implement and head back up to the farm. So guys, again, I do appreciate you watching the second installment of the missions that are available on cattle and crops on their map. And we're going to play through all the missions. Uh, make sure that you leave me your comments. Let me know if you'd like to see me continue after we get through with the missions and find out if the game is actually um, able to do a playthrough and operate the basics of a normal farm, which is, I think, is what we're all looking for. So, anyway, guys, like, subscribe, and share the video with a friend. I would appreciate it. And, uh, like always, guys, I'll definitely, definitely catch you in the next one. And I really appreciate every view every like, every thumbs up, and all the great comments that you guys leave. So until next time, guys, I'm Wheels247, and we'll catch you later. See ya.